Garmin API was announced back in April at the Garmin Connect IQ Summit. This feature allows developers or training apps such as uh, Training Peaks, Today's Plan, ErgDB uh, to send a schedule plan workout straight to a compatible device. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your Training Peaks account to push your daily structured workout to your Garmin Edge device. And make sure to stick around to the end of this video because I have a little tip for you that you might find very useful when you do these workouts outside. Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Tariq Ali from smartbytrainers.com where I review smart trainers and talk about indoor training and other fitness gadgets. Uh, if you are new here, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified of new videos and you'll find all the links and everything I talk about in this video in the description below. Okay, let's dig into it. The first thing you need to do is if you don't have a training piece account already, then go ahead and create one. Structured Workout Builder is available for the basic free and premium accounts. With the basic free account, you can use the workout builder for today's workout only, and you can create future workouts. Uh, I'm also assuming you already have a Garmin Connect account. Uh, if, you, if not, then just go ahead and create one, it is free. Uh, so here is the Training Peaks Garmin Connect Auto Sync Authorization page. Uh, you need to start from here, and I will leave a link to this page down in the description below. So log in to your Training Peaks account here, and go ahead and click on Enable Now. Now here's the Garmin Connect consent page. So I'm just gonna log into my Garmin Connect account. Now here Garmin is asking me what information I wanna share with Training Peaks. I already have the activities data shared between the two turned on. This option uh, allows you to sync activities you do on your Garmin device, for example, your Garmin Edge Bike computer or Garmin Watch to sync back to your Training Peaks account. The one I want to enable here is the workout. So enable that and click on save. Do you want to consent to Garmin Connect sharing your information with Training Peaks? Yes, I do. And off you go. That's basically it. Next time you build a structured workout, you will see this Garmin Connect logo appear telling you that this workout has been synced to your Garmin Connect account. So your Garmin is you need to be paired and connected to your Garmin Connect app on your phone and synced. Uh, and now when you go and select a workout or a profile on your Garmin Edge, if you have a workout scheduled for today, it will ask you if you wanna do this workout. Uh, you can preview the workout or skip it. Also from the Garmin main menu, if you press the down button to go to the menu, then training and go to the training plan page, you will see all workouts scheduled for the week. Here you can preview the steps for the workout, find a course, check the weather, etc. You can do the same thing for other sports as well. For example, here is a run workout that I created in Training Peaks and now it is showing on my Garmin uh, Phoenix watch. So here's a tip for you when you design these workouts. Following workout structure indoor is usually not that big of a deal. You can follow each step exactly. However, when you go outside, you might have to deal with a lot of distractions such as stop sign, traffic lights, cars, etc. In Training Peaks, for each step, they have an option to end step on lap button. What this basically does in Garmin or any other compatible device, it won't advance to the next interval until you hit the lap button. So I am going to turn this on on warm up and recovery intervals. And now I don't have to worry about missing the start of an interval because of a traffic light that took too long or some other reason. When I reach a safe area, I can just hit the lap on and uh, the interval will start. Okay, let me know down in the comment below if you currently use your Garmin's training plan feature for your indoor or outdoor workouts. This has been it. If you find this video helpful, remember to hit the like button and share it with your cycling or tri-group. Thanks for watching and see you next time.